Okay, we're going to be talking today about how removing parentheses or adding parentheses in an expression can change the answer. Okay, so let's write that down. How does removing or eliminating parentheses in, the, in an expression change the outcome? So this is really important um, because it can very much change what the answer is, even if you're using the same numbers. So we're going to do a couple different expressions here. And I'm going to use similar numbers with the parentheses in different places, and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have 25 plus 2 times 5 plus 10. Oops. Okay. Let's do another one that has similar numbers, but the parentheses are in a different place, and then we're going to solve them and see how they compare. So let's do 25. plus 5 plus, in parentheses, 2 times 10. Okay. Now, what I always like to do first is I like to compare the expressions. So things that are similar, we've got 25. We've got 5 and 2 in a different place here, and then we have a 10. Now, what's happening in the expressions is different too. In this first expression, we're adding 25 to the product of 2 times 5 and then adding 10. On the bottom here, we're going to add 25 and 5. And we're going to add that to the product of 2 times 10. So it is a little different. It might change the order. And we have to remember the order of operations or the acronym. Let's write this one now. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS, okay? So we do parentheses first, ex exponent second, multiplication and division, and then finally addition and subtraction. So we always have to remember that order when we're solving these kinds of expressions. So what we're going to do now is see how the answers of these two compare, even though the numbers are similar, but we have the parentheses in a different place. So first we know we're going to do P or parentheses. And I'm going to underline that in both because that's where I'm doing it first. Now the second thing I'm going to do, I don't have any exponents. So the next thing is multiply and divide. Um, we will multiply in here. We will multiply in here. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do we'll put this in green, is our adding and subtracting. Addition here, addition here, addition, and addition. Okay? And now I can evaluate the expressions. So let me go, I'll use black here. All right, so 2 times 5 is 10. Okay? So I've done in my parentheses and my multiplication. I have no division. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my addition. So I'm adding 25 plus 10, plus 10. I like to add my 10s first. 10 plus 10 is 20. Put this over here. So then we have 25 plus 20. Or an answer of 45. Okay, so let's see what happens when we solve this ex expression on the bottom. If I use my order of operations, I multiply first, sorry, I look in the parentheses first, and then I'm going to multiply. So 2 times 10 is 20. Okay, and then I'm going to do my addition and subtraction. We've got no subtraction, so let's add 25 plus 5 plus 
25 and 5 is 30 plus 20. And I have a sum of 50. So going back to what our question was in the beginning, okay, how does removing or eliminating parentheses in an expression change the outcome? Well, clearly it does. We had similar numbers in both expressions, but the parentheses and the operations were different in different places. Once we use our order of operations and we solve, we found that this came to a sum of 45 and this expression came to a sum of 50. So in fact, removing, eliminating, or changing the order of the parentheses or the place of parentheses in an expression truly does change the outcome. And we did all of this in an online application called Dabbleboard, which is a drawing program that you can do kind of like a whiteboard, um, and it's found at dabbleboard.com.